I think it's your shot here. Hopefully your image will jump up on screen as soon as I can find the button. Okay. Oh, well, there you are. My, you guys hear me? Yep, loud and clear here. All right, well, hello everyone. It is wonderful to participate in this video call. Thank you, Bruce, for facilitating all of this. During the workshop back in 1977, we had wonderful ideas about communication. 
that I only recall by reviewing the Ta book. Um, for those that want to see it, this is the Ta book. It's the uh, collection of the journal of everybody that participated in the workshop. Um, we had very creative ideas about using the picture phone then. When we went into the conference rooms, who knew what would transpire? I think we were all a bit surprised. Perhaps if there was an opportunity for a second call event, we would have done something remarkable, learning from the first event with all the technological challenges. The interactive potential of the system, the performance capabilities, and the ability to bridge space and time yearn for more exploration. Alas, we took the experience and became part of our collective future lives. Sonia, thank you for all your inspiration when I was a student at the Art Institute and throughout the years with the special projects via Facebook. Your legacy will live on for a very long time through your former students and their associates and their students. To my fellow generative system students and colleagues, how nice to reconnect by this updated medium. It still seems quite primitive, however. <laughs> I look forward to improved technology, perhaps in the next 40 years. Great. <laughs> That's all I have to say, and I'm going to stick to it. Sorry, Philip, I had to laugh. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Anybody want to respond to Philip if, if Philip is done? <laughs> That's all I have to say, but I'll, I'll entertain questions. Philip, I'm trying really hard to make your picture big on screen, and it's just not cooperating, so I feel uh, um, I'm sorry. Um, Bruce, Sonia would like to say something. Go for it. Go for it, Sonia. Philip, what I remember very well is all the many things you tried. It seemed to me that you were trying to get Mexico somehow working with people in the United States. And maybe you remember something about that. Do you remember that? There was uh, always sorry. something. You were the thinking artist. You no, were. Thank you, Sonia. Very much the thinking artist. Yeah, I, I no. don't call the Mexico connection, but I do have very uh, clear memories of the fun we had in your classroom, you know, and uh, it was all full of exploration and experimentation. Well, and you know, you might be interested. Douglas Divig, do you remember him from 3M? I do. He wrote yes. that in one of the books for his own scientists. He said, we want you to go in and watch Sonia because she's playing. And that's and we what we want did. you to play. And that's what you guys all did. You played with everything and came up with wonderful things that were stimulating for me. So it made teaching really worthwhile. And I thought, I thought of you as the thinking artist. Great. Well, thank you. You're welcome, dear. I, I was hoping to show you all the Ta book. Uh, it, it, there's so many pictures buried everywhere that uh, it's somehow hard to find. But there's... Well it's so that earlier today. If you can get the uh, larger on the screen, I could flip through some of the pages here, but um, I can't figure it out, unfortunately. Sorry. Okay. Well, but the one image is someone... my circle. Is that is that the, who who made that circle? Oh, the top book circle. Yeah. Do you, do you see it? That's... Does everyone see it? Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure who created that illustration. It. Um... Or oh, the cover of the book. Yeah. To be honest with you, it might have been David who was the, you know, the one who was drawing throughout the entire workshop and documenting everything through sketches. So um, he might have done it, but um, it doesn't look quite his style, so I'm not sure. No, it doesn't. That's what I was wondering. Huh. Yeah. Another mystery for another time. Yeah. Okay. Here we go again. <laughs> Why am I missing here? 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 Why am I
This is a good moment for uh, Marilyn to enter the dialogue. Marilyn, are you there? Yes, I see you. I see you. <laughs> okay. Hello. Yes. Okay. Okay. And I want to say hello to Ken. And here's Ken. I don't have any live animals, but this will do. <laughs> I'm still making photographs. Hi to all of you, and uh, I want you just to film me above the waist because I don't have any pants on. Okay. <laughs> just kidding. And, and, and Ken started to make photographs, and he's made photographs the last 50 years in the way that he still made them, but what he did was break the spell that the photograph was truth and that we make photographs and they are representations of our thought forms and what Sonia and Aldo and Ken all did as teachers is that they treated the students straight across as an equal and they learned as much from the student as, as they gave to the student to teach. So the dynamic of being each a student and a teacher continued. And to lead is to serve. And that Ken and Sonia have a shared heritage in the Bauhaus, where technology was a vehicle and a tool for our humanity. And that we were creating a new world through the beauty of, and aesthetics of design. And aesthetics is enlivening. And what's happened since then is that when Ken was making conceptual photographs before the term of conceptual, now it's become a pedagogy where the image is valued for her. It can be hyper theorized. And when Sonia would teach, she would always come back to the core reason we were making art is to understand and question what this is and our being human. And she would talk about Jim just grabbing her and saying, I love you, I love you, Sonia, when she'd talk about her own process and how, how difficult that was. And she, so she would talk always about the humanity and about the, about the importance of love and in this moment where we have a government that no longer serves us because it serves power and prestige and we have an inverted totalitarianism where systems of death are annihilating wow. the environment because everything is a commodity. The human is a commodity. The environment is a commodity. We have to come back is a to where understanding we too are nature. And that in a moment where we're all hooked up but not connected, we're connecting here. And we don't become ourselves by ourselves. And rather than having the mantra that our technology has trumped our humanity, we have to reclaim the humanity and that seed that Aldo, that Sonia, that Ken planted about it's being energetically straight across and that everything confirmed of religion, about the ubiquitous, of a presence, of a Godhead, and an infinity is substantiated by quantum physics. And we are in an expanding, accelerating infinity of a cosmology. And our very act of observation 
affects that we are uh -huh. the divine within that are co-creating and this is a reclaiming an interconnection and a, and a and a seizing of that of us being human and that love is immeasurable they try to block love they try to make walls where love cannot be uh, people communicating to their beloved through a monitor cannot are hooked up and they're physiological they're physiologically hooked up and and love barrels through any wall that they try to make that stops it. So love, it's our capacity to love that still is an enigma, it's mysterious, and it's more powerful than any wall that could be built. And so that's what we're trying to care. So we salute you, Sonia, Aldo, and Ken as our elders, and we're also calling down the ancestors and the future generations in this moment that we're reframing the reclamation of love and humanity over power and prestige and the commodity of everything to serve this rules of death that's happening at this moment. So from here on in, we are co-creating together, raising the bar of love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here, here. Hallelujah. Love you all. <laughs> here, here. How is that for a <laughs> and on that note, nice to see you, Ken. It's been a long time. <laughs> You're looking good. We won't share your image with anybody. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> and now back to oh. the dynamic duo. Okay. There was a Thank you. Cartoon Thank you. Play. That was great. <laughs> It's kind of little. Kind of little. Yeah, it's never mind. <laughs>
Sleep on. Ed, it's appropriate timing. Isn't that an accident? <laughs> Are you ready, Ed? Sure. And uh, I'd like to open a comment with thanking uh, Sonia and Aldo. Uh, I didn't appreciate Aldo's comments as much as I do uh, at this point in time, so especially a belated appreciation. Uh, Sonia knows I always appreciated her. So uh, goes without saying. Uh, very quickly, some context about generative systems. This is when the internet was connecting seven universities and a bunch of Air Force uh, missile bases. So this is uh, in a different world where technology the way it is appreciated now was not appreciated as a part of art. Uh, at the Art Institute, there was uh, uh, definitely a bias that art was painting and sculpture and dance. Um, and there were a group of us uh, in the basement doing general systems, video, uh, electronic music. But generative systems was unique. Generative systems not only experimented with basically any technology out there in the belief that any technology could be used to enhance humanity, could be used for art. It uh, was an area of the earliest use of personal computers for fine art, earliest integration of multiple disciplines. We wired up everything in the basement, including the dancers, to create a real-time performance. We did the earliest use of neuron biofeedback. Thank you very much, Philip and John. Earliest use of airplane riding. I think it was a cloudy day, but uh, Grayson Marshall was up there trying to apply skywriting for fine arts. So nowadays, when there are so many 
art technology departments all over the landscape, let's keep in mind that these are not the same thing the GS was and that humanity, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be pretentious, humanity still needs, which is a place where there are unique lessons of creativity. We didn't just use the technology like video and, and audio. We experimented and took up the challenge of creating art from all of the technology that was out there. We were doing meta-creativity. What I mean by meta-creativity is uh, one kind of creativity takes an existing means like painting and then comes up with creative examples in that medium. Another form of creativity comes up with solving existing problems with new technologies. Generative systems combine the two because the boundary between art and science there didn't exist. That's what I learned was creativity is creativity. Stop worrying about what to call it and just do it. The experimental piece that Steve was talking about. So I would offer that uh, Sonia and Aldo's did more than their, their fair share. They did their part. Uh, it's up to the rest of us who came after to continue explaining and sharing that there is more to creativity than the labels, that there is a way we can use all of our technology to enhance our humanity. And, and echoing the statements from the tape, use that humanity in dialogue to better shape the technology. I've been doing this for decades. It works, but it only works if you're willing to accept the challenge. If you don't believe it, well, you lose every, uh, you miss every shot, to, to quote Wayne Gretzky, you miss every shot that you don't try to make. That's it. Wonderful. Thank you, Ed. That was really, really, really moving. <laughs> Um, we're closing in the witching hour here at the, at the Howe Library, so I think we're going to slip in enough time to finish up. Uh, yeah, we are. And then we'll hear from Aldo and have to call it a night because 10 o'clock is witching hour. It's supposed to be. I've been holding a dog for three hours, believe me.
Yeah, see, where's that Oh, I see where it's going to And they cut us off. <laughs> we we'd spent our thirty minutes. <laughs> oh my God! Aldo, do you have a few closing remarks? Hi, uh, this is Anna. Thank you so much for letting me share. I'm Go just for it, Anna. in the room. Uh, enjoyed planning this and, and working through some issues. And here's the best picture I can show you of Aldo to say good night and to sign off. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Aldo. Yay. Good Yay. You see, Aldo? We love you, Aldo. We love you, Sonia. I appreciate love it. Love you, Sonia. Love you, Aldo. 
<laughs> Thank okay. you, Sonia. Thank you very much. Aldo, as always. Carlos and his people forever. Everybody stay in touch. Uh, somebody in the end. Oh, I don't say goodbye, oh, John, John no. came on. John Mason. John Mason. Oh, my God. Wait, 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 stop. Hold on, everybody. John, okay. you're on. John gets to say a few words. John. Oh, right. John. Go, so John. Hey. Go ahead, Good John. Bye, friends. No, John's going to say a few words. John's going to speak. John joined us. Speech. Hello, all. Well, I'm kind of speechless at a moment like this. I guess the thing that I want to do more than anything else is send uh, uh, love to Sonia. And uh, thinking about this is a catalytic moment okay. in which all of these strange threads uh, come together. Um, and uh, I'm very pleased to be here for that very oh, no, reason. I didn't recognize his voice. Yeah, John, I'm sorry. I can't blow your image up because I haven't figured it out. But you have a couple more minutes if you'd like to talk about any of the event or anything else. Uh, no, I'm, I'm actually here to listen. Um, I missed uh, the, the, uh, the uh, um, words that Ed added uh, when we were on, uh, I was looking at actually at the Facebook page. So how far into the show are we? We're right at the very end. They're ready to kick us out of the building in seven minutes. We got seven minutes. Yes, so you can speak for seven minutes, or you all can speak uh, if you like. Uh, go for it. Even you, Stephen, driving your car or shopping or whatever you're doing. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so I'd like yeah. to add something. Uh, yeah, John. Yeah, um, go ahead. Take your, we'll add yeah. some. Go, John. I take your arrived three. in Chicago from Cranbrook Academy of Art, where I was painting in stereo. I would do two paintings and look at them through a viewer to see them in 3D. And the head of my painting department said that wasn't a valid art form. So my father introduced me to Sonia and we got talking about time and I just knew that, you know, I found a home in, at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. And the first semester that I was there, I was talking with Ed and Ed told me that, uh, that an event is a four-dimensional solid. I remember specifically he said that and that made so much sense to me. And I'm thinking tonight about how we're seeing images of Sonia and Aldo from, you know, 80 some years ago, 90 some years ago, uh, and then in the 70s. And we're seeing all of these uh, steps in time that are really giving us a shape of their lives, of the whole flow of the development of the technology. And uh, it gives us an experience of time itself. Uh, which is really rich for me. So I'm thankful for being able to be part of this. Wow, and we're thankful you joined us. That's a beautiful statement. Anyone else before we say sayonara, as they used to say somewhere? somewhere. <laughs> Bruce, thank you so much for doing an unbelievable thing, putting this all together. It's just, you did a just wonderful work. I have no idea how it happened. Ed, Sonia, Anna, Aldo. <laughs> John, Greg, Philip, Marilyn, Ken, Carlos. Ed, 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 Ed. Marilyn has one more thing to say. Oh, well, well, no, I mean, truly what it is is about how we're going to take care of each other, how we're going to be in community, how we're going to connect. So, so what we've done here is so restorative of that, which is going to keep us sustainable and the resistance to these things that have overpowered our humanity. And so this has been so heartening and that it's been rough and raw and, and, and wild and unexpected is exactly the human process that loves messy and, 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 and crazy and unexpected and that this has just been pure joy. So thank you. It's my, it's my honor and I want to stay, hope that we can stay connected as well. <coughs> so now we know how to use Skype. <laughs> <laughs> sure. yeah. So, Sonia, I'd like to say goodbye. Sonia would like to say goodbye. Great. Say goodbye, Sonia. Goodbye, and thank you for all of this history and getting to see old friends and old faces and being alive to be able to enjoy it. So yeah. for my verse soon to be 95 years, thank you one and all. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you Sonia. 
Good, Good night, night Sonia. Sonia. Thank you. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you. 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 Th